San Mateo County is making a big investment to keep the power on in a tiny coastal town. County officials say the power has failed in Pescadero more than 400 times over the past two years, including during that wave of atmospheric rivers happening in 2023. So the county just approved funding for a separate power grid called a microgrid that would be the largest of its kind in California. Our Suji Nam spoke with a fifth generation grocery store owner who's hopeful about the changes the project could bring. The artichoke garlic herb bread, this is our signature item. We cook it hot all day long. Um, and what we do is we hand roll artichoke hearts into this bread. It's a family recipe that spans five generations. And Chris Benedetti, the owner of Arcangeli Grocery Store in Pescadero, is carrying on the legacy. It was my great great grandfather in 1929. He's actually this individual here. This was Sante Arcangeli. And the baby in the picture is actually my grandfather. His great great grandfather built the store nearly a century ago. Showing some of the floods. Over that time, the building has withstood many natural disasters, from flooding to earthquakes. Most recently, during the winter storms of 2023, Benedetti and his neighbors were hit hard by flooding and power outages. We actually had to install a generator in the back of our store um, because of the extended power outages. And now recently we've had outages that extended probably you know anywhere from three to six days of no power. But now Benedetti is optimistic. San Mateo County officials said they are one step closer to securing a $16.5 million solar and battery microgrid project that would keep power on in Pescadero when the wider grid fails. The grid is, is fairly fragile in the town of Pescadero. It's pretty rural on the south coast there, uh, and so there hasn't been a ton of investment in their infrastructure. But now it will be a game changer. Ryan Reynolds, the assistant director of the county's emergency management, says if approved, the single microgrid will be a backup source of power, not just for Pescadero, but for the entire South Coast region. When the grid goes down, it allows the, the town of Pescadero to be separated from that grid. And then we will be generating sustainable power through solar generation uh, and then battery backup. So when the power goes down, they'll be able to use this to supplement and the grid, the microgrid for the town of Pescadero will stay up and continue to provide power. Officials say the project may take a year or two, but the microgrid will be a long term solution to provide power for decades to come. We are the only grocery store in the area, so it's important for us to be open for the local people too, you know, and provide milk and water and stuff, especially during disasters and stuff when people can't go farther. Benedetti hopes the new microgrid will help keep his doors open for generations to come. The next step, the county plans to apply for $3.5 million in funding from PG&E. If everything is approved, the project would enter an 18-month planning phase beginning in 2027.